I'm Moss and Annie, and welcome to my Moss Garden. It's a beautiful summer morning, and I am so proud to showcase how gorgeous the mosses are looking. Now, this garden is a well-established moss garden, but one of the things that I have learned, and that you will too if you become a DIY moss gardener, is that mosses have never ending maintenance. So we're gonna do a little walkabout and see what else needs to be taken care of here in the moss garden. Well, the fairy garden's looking pretty good, except that you can't see it much because the maples and the hydrangea have just taken over. Hmm. All right, here underneath the rhododendron, it's looking pretty good, but I do see that there's a number of rhododendron leaves that have fallen off. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what's over here. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos, you may realize that this is a section that I planted. It was that really long video that you had to be very patient to sit through, but I hope you learned something from it. But as a follow-up, all of the planting has done great. Climacium, ceratodon, entodon here, and uh-oh, note this looks terrible. It's not because I didn't plant it right. It's thanks to my darling dog, Red Man, and I'm sure that he's cocked a leg over there on that colony. That's gonna have to be fixed, for sure. Ah, more Red Man evidence. Sometimes, y'all, he runs like a banshee through the garden, just gets in a frenzy, and he tears stuff up, so this, is where there was geotex fabric underneath. That needs to be fixed. Ah! But this, this is one of the, my most hated weeds. And it's the native version of what people call Irish moss. It's the giant percumbrance. And it really looks kind of like moss and it has these little seed pods that look a lot like a sporophyte. But it's not a moss, and I'm going to definitely have to add that to the list of to-dos today. Let's see what else can happen. Oh, dear. I see something else out of the corner of my eye over here. And it's doggone little grass and then some more oxysalis. And that's another little kind of weed. I might have said that wrong. I'm not sure if I pronounced that totally correct. Oh, well, y'all forgive me if I didn't. How's that? That needs to come back. And see these spots? Ah! I want my moss to look perfect. And from a distance, it did look pretty good, didn't it? But if you get up close, you'll see that this might be definitely a target place to repair or fix in some manner. And I'll just continue on and see what else I can find. Ah, well. This Jacoby or this ragwort is very aggressive, but I've been dealing with it over a period of time. Oh, as we look back here, the moss could look great, couldn't it? But right now, all you see are ferns. And, well, I think this is a great comparison. And this is a decision you need to make as a moss gardener. Do you want a moss garden or do you want a native overgrown jungle? And that's what's happened right here. So it's time to pull some ferns again. Strolling along as I figure out what all I got to do. Oh. There's that side where those rhododendron are. And I see something else under here. Uh-huh. Look at this. Piles and piles of pine. Male catkins. So don't think you just get pine needles, but you will also get this debris that needs to definitely be dealt with. And I also see a few little weeds over there on that side too.
Well, I'm finished with my little walkabout in my moss garden, and I've got me a long list of to-dos to get it into pristine shape. First, as you can see, I can't even sit on my bench. These ferns are so big. So the point of this video is not how to resolve the problem, but to be fully aware that moss gardens need continual maintenance throughout the entire year. Don't expect to get your mosses in and then sit back. If you do, you might get a fern jungle like me, or the leaves might cover up your mosses and smother them. There are lots of reasons to keep up with your maintenance duties. So, this is Moss and Annie signing off for this segment on moss maintenance and more. That never-ending chore. I hope you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, order mosses from mountainmoss.com, and have a great day mossing around.